Hi everybody, my name is Kenton DeYoung. This is Kenton DeYoung Travel. And today we're opening another package as part of my ongoing Unboxing Canada series. We started this series about a year ago and the whole purpose of it is to open a package in every province and territory across Canada. We've done Saskatchewan, Manitoba and Yukon so far. And today we're getting a package all the way from, all the way from none of it. Straight from Iqaluit, none of it. All the way on Baffin Island. I'm so excited to see the semi. Thank you so much for saying this. I think this is from Tourism. None of it. I'm not sure. Does it say where it's from? Want to move stuff around? Destination None of it. Thank you so much, Destination None of it, for saying this to me. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy to cross off another territory off the list. So here's the package. Canada Post. It's pretty big. Uh, I've had it for about a month now, maybe a month and a half. I just haven't had time to open it. But now we're going to open it to see what's inside. And I'm super excited to see what's inside. So. As always, we got the keys. <laughs> we're going to use a cup in the box. And I'll see you guys in just a moment after I get this thing opened up. Okay, we're back. We got the box open. And we'll see what's inside. Again, blind react. I don't know what's inside this box. No idea. It's a little pin. I'll put it here. A little red pin that says none of it on it. And it shows one of the Anakshaks you see up there. Thank you. We got a little, uh, what, are, what are these called? Lapels? No. These little things? I think they're lapels or something like that. Lanyard. Lanyard, that's a lanyard. Cool, very cool. Oh, cool. It's like a, a journal. Very similar to the one I got from Travel Manitoba. A lion journal. Has a Nunavut destination Nunavut.ca on it with a Nakshuk on the front cover. A bit of a bit of a shadow there, so I make sure that so you can see that see the Nakshuk there. That's pretty cool. Let's see that too. Oh, it's a magnet. I'm a, so this is Becky Quilavuk Kilavuk. Sorry if I can't pronounce your name, Becky. I think she is an artist who, who do this. This is very cool. I'm guessing that's like traditional uh, Inuit outfit, perhaps? The shadow's right there, okay, hold this down. That's very cool. Okay, what's this? Oh, cool, a bunch of magnets, cool. Got this magnet. It is, uh, it's moccasins and a little bow connecting them. Another one, another magnet. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, it might be like a jacket or something, like a poncho kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Here's the traditional, uh, another magnet of a traditional uh, Inuit woman with the uh, with the tattoos. I don't know if that's the right term for them, but I've seen them on TikTok and other social medias. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. And now this one, I don't know. What do you guys think this one is? It's a magnet that has, uh, it looks like, okay, what it looks like to me is like one of those tools you'd use to like, uh, on like meat, to like cut the meat. That's what counts like, like a wooden handle and a blade. I'm not sure what the right term for it is, but that's what it counts like to me. Those are pretty cool. Oh, got a couple more pins here. Oh, I got two more pins with an up on them. Same thing. Oh, I got that one backwards, upside down. Very cool. Very, very cool. A map. Okay, so like I was talking to Jessica, she's off camera. I was talking to Jessica earlier about what I know about none of it. And all I know is that none of it uh, became a new territory when I was in elementary school and that it has Baffin Island, the biggest island in Canada, and the capital is Callaway. And that is literally all I know. So I'm happy to see a map. On both sides. Oh, both sides first. So here's a map 
of none of it. And you'll see, I'm, I don't know what these are. Perhaps these other sections are maybe like uh, the indigenous like territories of it. I don't know. There's so much to learn about a place I call home, like Canada. I don't know what these places are. This is the English side too, yeah, yeah. I don't know what these places are. And I can't look it up because I'm on my phone, but I will, huh. And this, is this just the same side, but it's all French, I guess. All right. That makes sense. They must be like maybe the uh, traditional names of these areas. Because I think, I want to get this wrong, I'm sorry. I think it was that they kind of determined none of it was its own place because the culture is so different, society is so different, language is so different. So that's why it kind of became its own territory. Maybe these are like the different maybe territories within the territory. I don't know. If anyone knows in the comments, let me know because I am bamboozled by what this could be. But one thing worth noting, and it's only on here, but that's okay, is a new, and this map was made in 2020, so it's a little bit old, but not that old, right? Up here now, there's a little island up there. You know what that, what that island was called, Pun? Um, the one where they had the border with Greenland? So I can't remember either, but it was like um, an island that was split between uh, Greenland and Canada. And they finally came to a conclusion on it and they split the island in half now. So now Canada has a land border with Greenland. I can't remember what the island is called now. That's all right. Uh, but it would be, I believe it is just up here in there somewhere. So if you ever want to walk or drive, the sun's right there. If you want to walk or drive to Europe, you can do it, but you'll have to get up there. Very cool. One day I want to go. There's so much in this box. Oh, so here's another magnet. This one is of an igloo. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got so many pins. <laughs> I got I got three more pins of, of this Anuk Shuck. So that means I think I got then pull six pins of this Anuk Shuck, which is really cool. Uh, maybe I'll do something with those. Give them away or something if you guys want them. What else? Okay. See what that was. I got some pens. That's cool. I got two pens. None of it pens. Both with the nux truck on them. It's your typical, you know, quick pen, right? This is cool though. Never have enough pens. Always looking for pens. The spirit of the Arctic. Ooh, what's this? None of it's official flower. The purple saxifrage. Saxifrage is a small tasty plant that grows in clusters on tufts of soft moss-like veg vegetation. The first of the colorful plants to bloom in the spring, mid to late June, July, and they do not last long. Flowers are good in salad or sugar on cake. The Spirit of the Arctic, essencegenova.ca. It says, Tund Tundra Moon Designs, Arctic Flower Art. And you can see they made a little stone there with uh, the purple saxifrag on the rock. That's really cool. Uh, maybe it's made with resin or something because you can see the flower. That's nice. I never heard it before. That's pretty cool. Anything else? Another pin? Okay. Oh. Another another uh, magnet from Becky. This one looks like again a, a traditional Inuit woman. That thing she's wearing looks a lot like. Got it. This thing. Kind of. So I think maybe they are like one and the same. Maybe. 
Maybe that, maybe it's like at the back of it where the baby's being carried in this. I think I figured it out. I think I got it. Very cool. And last but not least, it's, it's in the box I'm trying to work around it, but it, I think this is left in the box. It's another water bottle. Stainless steel bottle. Let's see. I've been using this to scratch once I got it before I was using the metal one. So let's, let's see if it's, it's different than the other two. It's bigger. Look at that. Beautiful. Big red Nunavut. It has the Nukshuk on it. It has the word Nunavut. And I believe that is in, what did they speak? In, in Uh they didn't even speak. Uh, oh gosh, I haven't. I learned it in school years ago. There's so much I've forgotten. So much I've forgotten. Oh, it has a lot of cards. I think this is probably going to be like a little. Always important to take these things out. Once I didn't, and I went for a hike, and my water was tasting really weird on that hike. Only to the end I poured the water, so I was all like white and weird. Well, I think that's all. Oh, there's one more of these I missed. Here, another one of these magnets from Becky that she made. This, these are beautiful pieces of art. Look at that. And now I am certain that these are, hold up here, that these are the same thing. Very cool. Well, thank you so much to Destination Nunavut for sending me this box. Uh, I feel bad because I, I know so little about Nunavut. I feel like I, I just don't know enough. You know, it's all the way across the country, but I should know about it because it's in the same country as me. I, I kind of feel ignorant, feel dumb about this, but it's just it's so far away and it's culture so different. So that's why I'm so glad and so fortunate that I was able to unbox this and look at these. So I'll, after this video, I'm going to be looking up, you know, what's the language? Cause I know the language, it's the top of my tongue. And I'm gonna look up more about what these different areas are on the map. So what do I like the most? Um, so I love these magnets. Uh, I love this book. That's really cool. This flower is beautiful. And something that like a lot of the other tourism agencies, tourism boards sent me a lot of stuff. They make some magnets or postcards. They didn't send me uh, like these magnets, but no one sent me something like this. So I think this is this is my favorite, followed closely, I think, by by these magnets. Uh, so this being the purple saxifrage. Uh, flower because it's so beautiful and it's like it, it's from them it's not like purchased maybe like say in you know China like a certain design this has been made in in Nunavut uh, by a local artist and so are these and of course the other magnets too so I think yeah these three things uh, these magnets the purple saxophone I probably ain't saying that wrong all the time and the other magnets are my favorite things so thank you so much Destination Nunavut for saying this package to me I absolutely love it. Uh, uh, there's so much here. Thank you for sharing this little piece of your beautiful territory with me. I have to do some research. And that's what I love about this, this whole thing. I, to learn more about my country and to share it with you. So I'm sure I'll put like in a post thing like, by the way, these places are this. This is what the language I speak. I should know these things and I just don't know it. So thank you so much to Destination Nunavut for saying this all the way from Iqaluit, Nunavut to Virginia, Saskatchewan. Uh, we are about one year into this program, one year into this this uh, unboxing series. Nine more to go. Who's going to be next? I don't know. Uh, I'm just really excited for this one. Uh, and thank you again for sending it to me. So as always, my name is Kenton Young. This is Kenton Young Travel. I don't know where I'll see you next. Um, maybe here. Maybe out there in the sun. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you next time. Wherever it is. Bye, guys.